Hey again guys, this is going to be episode 15 of Let's Play Fallout 3 Blind. And I'm noticing there's enemies in here. Uh, so our dad's not here, but apparently some bad guys are. So let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of them pretty quick. Do I have my hunting rifle equipped? I do. Alright. See if we can get rid of these guys really quick. Not in any kind of mood to deal with these guys. Oh, nope. Just kidding. Let's get a little closer. I want a little bit better chance. Ooh. I'm hearing the one up top. He's heavy. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on. Get him! Oh, come on, get him! Oh no, guys! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I don't like it. Okay. Oh, Alright, he is low. Ooh! Let's get out of here. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh no, let's get out of here. Okay, before he comes through this door, how about, uh... How about flipping frag mine? Frag mine! Step on that! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um... Well, I guess I'm gonna have to eat something. Eat these. Oh yeah, I sold some stuff in between the episodes. Uh, so that's why our weight is, is lower now. I sold some stuff. We have a little bit more money. Oh, guys. He's like right there. He's like right there and I don't have very much AP. Okay, I have enough to do this. Let's get it. Come on, two more. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, he just has a stupid nail board. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Oh, he had a grenade. I should just be happy he didn't throw that at me. Alright, cool. Alright. Wait, is there some water in here I can drink? I think I remember there was a bathroom somewhere in here. Alright, looks disgusting. But, you know what? We need our health back, so... Plus, we're still supposed to get irradiated from uh, Moira anyway, so that's fine. Okay. Alright. Only one more guy in here. Then we'll find the information we're looking for. I should probably take it a little slower. Or he will definitely see me. I hope this one has a nail board too, because I just don't want to fight one with like a minigun or whatever again. He's just like right around here. Just right. And there he is. Alright. Let's get him. I should have I used the hunting rifle, huh? Oh, he does have a weapon, doesn't he? I should have used a grenade from stealth. That's what the smart me would do. Got him. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get him. No, 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 thanks. Come on, dummy. Come on, my dumb friend. Come here, buddy. Oh, I just want to shoot you. How can you shoot me through that? That's cheats. He's using aimbot. He's a hacker. Okay. Um. Like. Come on, take his kneecap out or something. Jeez, this is not good, guys. We just gotta get our AP back. Is his leg crippled? Uh oh. Uh oh. Pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. And there we go. That's what I wanted. Let's get him in the leg. Get him. Oh, he's a brute. That one, that's why he's harder to kill, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Okay. Look at that XP. We're gonna be level 6 in no time, you guys. 
Let's just take all that, like whatever. And I don't see any more red spots, so I guess that's everybody. We're gonna make a quick save though, because I don't trust this game. What does this do? Filtration chemical, okay. Ooh, journal entries. Are these dads? So this one's 10, 8, 5. Okay. Isn't there more? Is there more? Where are the other ones? That's 10, 8, and 5. Where's the uh, other numbers? Well, okay, it tells us to listen to 10. Our quest does. I noticed that pop up there. So let's listen to 10. I, I mean, should we go in order? I know we need to listen to this other stuff too, but should we just go in order, maybe? It says listen to 10. Let's start with that, sure. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of the ones that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Pure. Okay, so Braun and Vault 112, okay. Let's start, let's Even listen to five. Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltaic facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day, Voltex and sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe with his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called GET, the Garden of Eden creation kit. I think I remember reading something uh, in the overseer's office about that. It said that um, our vault 101 did not come with a with a geck, um, but that that was okay or something. Uh, it's not like every vault didn't get one because it was experimental or something. Okay, so he's trying to find a vault that actually has this geck to try and create, like you know, to fix the wastelands uh, and get everything back to normal. I guess. Okay. Uh, let's try entry number eight. To be honest, the geck sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. And no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. All right, well, that's that's really good, guys. I feel like we learned a lot. Also, this explains why um, the Overseer hated our dad. Obviously, I'm just going to do one more look through. But obviously, if our dad had broke into his office uh, and the Overseer, if he knew that that had happened, then obviously he would be pretty mad about that. I want to know where the other hollow tapes are. I really guess they're not in here, but would like to know. Okay, so... That's good. We came from the gift shop. It's another gift shop, okay. 
Uh, are there any other doors? Anything? No. I just wanted to have a nice look around since we're already here. I want to explore this place more. I feel like this should be something over here, but there's not. It's a waste of time. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and explore around a little bit more of this monument while we're here. There's no reason why we can't. I'm really interested to know uh, what's going on with our dad. I think it would be really cool if we found the gag and we fixed everything. But at the same time, I feel like that's not going to happen at all. Not at all. Okay. Oh, there's like an, there's actually like an intercom. All right, let's give that a try. There's no response. Okay, that sounded dangerous. Let's go back to the water fountain again. Get our health back up. And then we'll go in there. Is there anywhere else to go in? I mean, I can find it on my own eventually, but it would just be so much easier if you would just tell me. But you can't. So I'm just going to continue wandering about like an idiot, and that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We're almost at 400. Radiation. Uh, our friend wanted us to get to six. So we'll try to do that. And there we go. Da 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 da. 400? No, not quite. Well, that's alright. I guess as long as we don't start sprouting extra legs or something, it's not that bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into sneak mode just in case. We never know what's going to be over here. And there's some bad guys. There's definitely some bad guys. What is that? A roach, hopefully. Hopefully it's not another freaking super mutant. Like, the super mutants would be such... Like, so much more scary. Uh, or special feeling. If they were rare, you know? Like, I feel like the game has overloaded me recently with super mutants. And it's made them kind of like a... Like a eh, you know, like eh. Okay, there's blood down here. I don't like this. What was that? What was that? Did you see that? Something like, oh, it's just falling debris. I thought maybe it was like some crazy Spider-Man monster walking on the walls. Where are these bad yeah. guys? What? It's a super mutant. I can tell by his big, stupid, dumb voice. More stupid super mutants. They're not even scary anymore because the game has overdone it. Are they all down below? I guess they are. So the real question is, is there a hole in this fence where I can just throw grenades at them? Because that sounds like what I want to do. Hmm. Carton of cigarettes. Oh, caution. What is that? That's not a super mutant, was it? I saw something. I hear something. I hear a loud something. Was that him down there? It is, isn't it? Is there one closer by? What is the other thing down there? Guys, please, guys, I need to know what that is. I don't feel good about this. Oh, is there one in this room? I bet there's one in this room. Let's make a quick save. Hello? Uh-huh. Okay, uh-huh. Let's go for that. Oh, don't go behind that. You stupid. You're so dumb. You know what? Okay, fine. I think I'm just gonna start putting all of my points... Oh, come on! There's more of them. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he scared me coming out of that doorway. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. He's so scary. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they are still scary. I do think the game has overdone it. And there's too many of them, these freaks. Oh, no, 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 no. I just killed one. Come on, I'm not ready for another one, you stupid. Okay. I'm not ready for this. All right. Um, how about the freaking minigun guys? Sure. Bang, get a bang, get a bang, get a bang. Oh, come on. It should do more to him than this. Do I have to be closer? No, I don't. Okay, good. Freaking thanks. Those are both dead. I guess the other ones are coming to investigate it because they heard what was going on. So let's hide in here for a minute. I mean, they're going to see their dead friends. Like, that's that's it. They're going to see their dead friends. Let's take this and this. Ah. Uh, we have actually lots of new Coca-Cola. So... Oh, oh, cool. We got it. 400. Nice. Kind of a fan of this minigun, though, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Seems like it did a pretty good job of tearing that last mutant apart, so... It's making me feel a little bit safer. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you scared me, you ugly boy. You ugly, ugly, ugly boy. No, 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 no. Please don't touch me. 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 Do not sling your face tentacles at me. Good grief. Is this one bigger than the other ones or am I tripping? I'm tripping. Oh, they're always freaking empty too. Like there's no reason for them even to exist in the game. They don't even have any loot. What's the point? And I need to search that room upstairs better. I know, I know. Where are these guys? Where's the other one? There he is. What does he got? Nothing I really care about, but okay. Um. Instant potatoes. Yeah, an iron. Wait, what is that hazard sign? Trip hazard. Caution. Wow, that's a really nice... Look at that. He just beamed it. He did. Uh, is that rake a weapon? I kind of want that rake to be a weapon. I don't know. Alright, there's another one down here somewhere. I bet it's another centaur. Because just one ugly thing would not be enough. So, wait a second. So, super mutants are like, oh, blah, 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 we have a future. And then they just were hanging out down here with centaurs. So... Do centaurs see... I mean, do... I'm pretty sure centaurs aren't even sentient. Like, they're just too stupid to think or have thoughts. But, like, this freaking... Super mutants, right? Do they consider the centaurs, like, one of them? Because they weren't fighting it, so... I guess they consider it a... Also part of the future. Let's go this way. There's a bad guy over here. Where is he? There he is. Hey, dummy. I'm here to tell you good evening. Am I hitting the wall? How stupid is that? I'm hitting the wall, aren't I? That went well. I like this gun. I'm gonna buy more ammo for this gun. This is my new favorite gun. Okay. I think that's it. I don't even see any signs that there's anything else dangerous in here. I feel like that water we should definitely not go in. We should definitely not go in there. Okay, hopefully there's no more bad guys down here. And there is. There is. I bet it's a centaur. Nope, it's another mutant. It's another super mutant. Everybody's favorite. Wait, I could get... If I do... It's caution, but he hasn't seen me seen me yet, has he? Uh. Okay. Let's get him from stealth while we can. Uh, should I get his torso? Uh, 
Oh, I see. If I shot his weapon, would I damage his weapon and make him, like, use it? I like how he's tripping on that tricycle. Okay. Doki. Okay. Very good. We don't need that nail board, do we? Cute little tricycle. Any more bad? I don't see any more bad guys. Okay, that's nice. Away then. Mm -hmm. Nothing there that I want. Does the intercom work? Hello? No. Oh, sure, why not? Speech, I like that. Pistol, beans, pie. Don't want the bottle. Okay. At least they were able to have a barbecue down here before the super mutants ate them all. That's what really matters. Priorities. Ah, I see. We're back up here. Okay. Let's look at our little local map. Just to get a better idea. Alright. Yeah, okay. So. Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's get the hunting rifle back out, I guess. And see if we can get a sneak attack on this guy. I have a 90% chance to hit his hunting rifle? I guess I could do that and try to disarm him. Sure. Oh cool, he can't use it anymore. That's awesome. Oh, he can. I thought I got rid of it. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh come on, that was a point blank rifle shot to the face. You should be out. You should be down for the count, buddy. I'm gonna name you Durable Daniel. Okay, Danny. You're down. Now you Durable Danny is down. That's nice. At least you got a name. That's more than most of you get. Alright. Dun dun dun. Right away. Sure, I'll take those. And that. And nah. I'm sure we'll need a paint gun eventually. I bet it'll be used for something cool, like building something. There's still no response on any of these intercoms. I keep hoping to find life down here, but it's just not looking very good. I tell you what, guys, I'm glad our dad got out. Before, uh,. Everything went wrong. Hollow tapes! Yes! Dad's room. Dad's room. Nice. Dad's room. Look, it's our mother's favorite verse. He puts this thing up everywhere. Nice. Miss you, Dad. I'll find you. Don't worry. All right. At least he left some stuff here for us. Like, thanks. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. All right, let's listen to these while we do our questing. I think we can play it and then go do something else. Let's try. So here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. That's, that almost scared me walking in the door here, so that's great. Okay, how about entry two? This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. It will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. 
Hey guys, I just had a thought while I was looking around in here. Um, this is where Project Purity is happening, right? And we got a table here and a thing and some things. Was, is this where I was born, you guys? Was I born in this room? There's the light looks familiar. This room looks kind of familiar, maybe. If that gene projection screen was around, I would know it was, but. I don't know, this might be the room we were born in, you guys. We might have that might be where we lost our mother. Just in a just a just a thought. Just just a little thought. Just a little theory. Not really anything important. Just a little idea. I hope my dad didn't drink all that whiskey. The door is not powered and will not open. Well, okay then. Let us continue with our adventures in this place. Actually, let's go to the first, the first. I, I skipped it, I went with one and then two, but I missed the first one. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my own entry. Since I left all of this behind to make a life for my daughter. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my daughter is a grown woman. Beautiful, intelligent, confident. Just Thank like you, Dad. Mother. And as hard as it was to admit it, she doesn't need her daddy anymore. Oh, Daddy, no, that's so sad. I still need my daddy. We're gonna go find our daddy, we are. I bet he's gonna be so surprised that we're out here, you guys. Man, he thinks too highly of us, though. He thinks we're, like, beautiful and, like, smart. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of a wimp. I'm kind of a scared wimp. Guys, I don't like it down here. Why did I go down here? I just was like, oh, look, an unexplored place. Let's go. Let's play the next log. How about that? That'll keep me company while I'm going down this very dark hole. Okay, how about entry number three? I spoke with Dr. Lee Madison at Riven City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again. A paragon of failure and false promise. Oh no! Is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. Can I back it up? No, I can't. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. Without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Guys, we're not supposed to be here. Okay. Uh, I didn't find six. I found five, eight, and ten. Seven. Wait, an eight again? I have two eights? Well, okay, whatever. Let's do this I am seven. at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. And her place is my daughter. Small and helpless. As much as this place means to me. As much as it meant to Catherine. This is no place for an infant. Even without her mother. Is that the end of it? Okay. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere, and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Madison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, she'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen. It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. Dad was a cool guy. Um, so what do you think? Baseball cap and, uh, business outfit. Pretty cool, huh? We look like a sensible young woman, don't we? Well, this is a good place to end the episode, I guess. So I'll see you next time. Bye.